They're just showing us a bunch of stuff, and I'm like, they cannot send another race swap character. And they kind of did. This one's not a full race swap because it's not a character replacement, but it's just a female version. But still, though, man, there's no surprise. We got another MCU, or should I say MCU character, and it's AKA the female version of Iron Man. Her name is Ironheart. So the thing is that they keep bringing back these characters that low-key kind of failed. And they're trying to make them relevant. <laughs> well, this is the thing, though. When it came with Iron Man, everyone was kind of hoping they were going to bring Iron Man's daughter back. I think that would have been a better idea. That storyline is really fucking good. Can you imagine? Oh, Tony Stark's daughter, right? She comes up. She gets the Iron Man suit, right? And on top of that, she got an AI. And that AI, like Jarvis, like, you know, Tony Stark has that little AI that he talks to. Instead, she gets an AI that's Tony Stark's uh, mind and, and, and his personality. So it's almost like her father is teaching her the way of becoming the new Iron Man. That's a badass story. But are we getting that? No, we're getting the gender swap version because of Marvel. <laughs> now, I'll be honest. I'll be real. The Ironheart story actually is not bad. It's not some dumb shit. Like, it's not the same shit like the pronoun, like, disabled uh, Spider-Man that came out recently. You know, like, yikes, you know. I think she has on a wheelchair and then she has crutches and whip comes out of her crutch. Her, her, her little walker thing it's just I, I i'm i know it sounds like a joke but that shit for real though <laughs> but no iron heart is legit she's made by the same person that made miles morales by the way so if you know miles morales is the uh black version of spider-man right but he's his own spider-man though he's not a replacement you know and at first he got a bunch of hate but you know like you know people love him he has his good old storyline he's his own fucking character that's what they try to do with Ironheart. And they did a pretty good job because in her version, Iron Man's still alive. But I don't know how they're going to do it in the D23 universe. So her story is different. Now, the thing is that she's not bad. Uh, the thing is that, you know, Marvel's like, here, Riri. That's her. That's a character, Riri Wilson. She, man, the female version. She's like the female vo version of Tony Stark. But she does everything better. And that's kind of what turned people off about her version. But her story is actually pretty legit and it's pretty dope. So what I understand is that she had a father she never saw because he, he wasn't born yet, I guess. And he passed away because of gang violence, right? So she never got to see her biological dad. She was still, her mother was still pregnant with her. And then when she was a kid, she had fucking problems because... People are like, oh, she can't get along with nobody. Why is she so fucking distant? Then they got a personal person to help her out, and they find out, oh, your daughter's a fucking genius. She's smart. She's just too smart for all these fucking dumb fucks, right? So she finds her best friend. Her name is Natalie. It's sad because that's her best friend, and she loves her stepdad. And just like her stepdad, he has the same faith. Uh, there ends up being a gang violence, like a di drive-by shooting. Her stepdad tries to protect her and her best friend, Natalie. They both get shot, so she straight up loses her father figure, which is her stepdad. The only father she knew. And she loses her best friend, Natalie. She ends up being fucking smart as fuck. Somehow she ends up jacking, uh, what I understand, Tony Stark's uh, uh, old suit. <laughs> The, the Mark 41 suit, the old school silver ass one, the one you saw in uh, in, uh, in the first Iron Man, that bootleg one. <laughs> so she gets that version. She gets the parts and she builds her own suit. So uh, people didn't like her because they're like, oh, damn, she fucking Jack Tony Stark shit. But whatever. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, this girl's gonna show up in Black Panther, yo. So, what they're gonna end up doing is that they're gonna have the Black Panther movie, which is the end of Phase 4. 
and something tells me like and you already know it's already happening uh it's like oh black panther you know it's a bunch of you know it, they're all black characters and the, you know, I, i've said this if you watch my other videos it's disney bro they play the black card or they or if you don't like the gender swap you're racist or whatever so they're smart they got iron heart which is a a black version of uh of iron man she's a female version and she apparently is first is gonna show up in black panther so if black panther sucks and you say it sucks it's not because it sucks it's because you don't like black people <laughs> it's kind of that that typical disney you know marvel thing where like they erases everything and then if if you don't like Ironheart, where she's gonna, that's her first introduction, probably at the end of the credits or something. If you don't like her, then that means you don't like Black Panther either. Then. <laughs> so then, then she's gonna have her own trailer, which she already did. So the whole point about this is that her trailer came in. I'm sure people are clowning at, but like I said, her character actually is not bad at all. After this, she's gonna have her own show. We got the trailer. So, I mean, I mean, this character was made by the same person that made uh, Miles Morales. So it makes sense. It has some, she has character. She actually has a personality. And her AI, oh, I didn't even mention this. Her AI character is actually her best friend, Natalie, by the way. So her AI is actually her best friend, her companion, which makes sense. Her Siri is actually her best friend, which is fucking dope. And... I, I gotta check this though. Apparently, Natalie, I didn't even know this. Natalie has her own, like, her initials actually spell something. So it stands for Neuro Automis, uh, Automic. No, ugh, here I go fucking up names. So Natalie stands for Neuro Automis Technical Assistance and Laboratory Intelligence Identity. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Her friend's name was Natalie, and it actually her initials mean something. So I'm like, man, they did put care in this character. So knowing this, I'm like, you know what? I might give Ironheart a fucking try. I mean, I ain't gonna give fucking Ariel a try. Jesus Christ, just just gender swap a character and do the lazy Disney shit, whatever. But at least with Marvel, this character actually has some oomph to it. So yeah. What do you guys think? Are you guys gonna watch Ironheart when it comes out? Right now, it was just a teaser trailer, so we're, I don't know exactly when she's coming out. It's not gonna be anytime soon. Right now, everybody's still in the She-Hulk rant right now because that's what's on right now, <laughs> which is a fucking disaster. But don't worry, we got more disasters coming. But yeah, would you guys give Ironheart a chance? Are you like, nah, I'm tired of the MCU and all these gender swaps and all this shit. Are you guys like, man, fuck you, Jose. You stupid, dog. <laughs> I'm going to watch it anyways. I don't know. Like, subscribe, send me a comment. Tell me you agree or disagree. I don't know. And that'll be all. <laughs>